So today we're gonna perform the NGK feeding. This is to restore or maintain nutritional status and to help you to get enough nutrition to grow and develop and to recover. So let's begin. The aseptus syringe, the nasogastric tube, the face towel, the emesis basin, the stethoscope, a clean gloves, and lock for our formula. The next step is we're gonna wash our hands. We're gonna put the asteroids feeding to the calibrated glass. Hi mom, I'm Roxanne Makasaet. I'm your caregiver for today. So next is gonna put the patient in the summer fowler's position. And next is gonna put the towel on the chest of the patient. So next is we're gonna put the clean gloves. Next is we're gonna remove the cover of the NGT. Next is we're gonna attach the aseptic syringe to the NGT. Next is check the placement of feeding tube into the stomach. Inject air into the nasogastric tubing. Next is we're gonna place the stethoscope on the left upper quadrant and now we're gonna aspirate and observe any gastric content. Next is we're gonna keep the GT tube and remove the rubber bulb of the aseptic syringe. So now we're gonna pour our formula. Avoiding the entrance on air to avoid excess air to the stomach. Evaluate. The acceptor syringe at 12 to 18 inches above evaluate, uh, the insertion site while feeding. Next is we're going to flush the feeding tubing with 30 to 60 ml of water. Cleanse the linen of the tube. Next is we're going to kinking again the GT tubing once the water runs through it. Next is we're going to remove the aseptic syringe, then cover the feeding tube. Next, is what we're going to remove the towel. And instruct the client to remain in the upright position for at least 30 minutes. And next is we're gonna clean all the materials that we use. Remove the gloves and wash hands. After washing your hands, document and give feeding amount to the client. So that's all for today. Thank you for watching.